Hello folks and welcome to the show floor here in Gamescom, Cologne, Germany. I'm joined by Sean. Hey Seb. Hey Sean, how's it going? I am doing quite well. So first appointment of the actual event, you've gone and seen Forza 5. Yes. Yeah, and you've gone and had a look at the career mode. How is it looking? It's looking quite good. Cool. So one of the interesting things they're doing with the career mode is, you know, in previous games in the Forza series, it was one sort of like straightforward arc. You were doing these different um, discipline-based events as you moved and ranked up your driver level, but it was always that same sort of arc. In Forza 5, uh, one of the more interesting things they're doing with the career mode is that they've divided it into eight different leagues. And these are leagues where the cars are divided between styles. So you've got like uh, sport compacts, you've got muscle cars, you've got, you know, ultra race cars and those types of things. And divided between those eight leagues are um, a number of different series that are sort of like subdivisions. So within subcompacts, you've got things like hot hatches, rally cars, that sort of thing. And so what you can actually do within those series is you can pick one car and race with that one car from the beginning to the end of that series career. It, they're, they're talking about these as their sort of like mini careers. So something like a hot hatch or a rally car series, that's gonna last probably about 90 minutes or so, but it's gonna give you the opportunity to pick one car, stick with it, develop, develop a relationship with that car, get in touch with your inner car passion, <laughs> as it were. Obviously. Yes, yeah. of course. And so uh, is, that, is that what they're kind of hoping people are going to do? They're going to pick the one car, they're going to stick with it, and they're not just going to go, oh, diversity. You, you must try all the cars <laughs> that we picked in. Uh, so you, you do have to kind of like spread the love around a bit because uh, each car can basically be used in two different series. There's the one that fits the discipline of that car and another one that fits the class of that car. So if it's a C-class car, you can use it a second time in the C-class series. Something like that. Basically the gist here is that it gives you the opportunity to pick a car and stick with it for a long time. Because you know in the Forza, in traditional Forza campaigns, careers, uh, your car would be obsolete pretty quick and you're sort of like forced into this progression of cars. But here, you know, you can start with a really nice car and if you decide that you're much more of like a Fiat 500 kind of guy, you can actually revert back to that car if it's something that you prefer driving. So it's kind of interesting. They let you find your niche and stick with it for a lot longer than you would in a previous Forza game. And they've actually brought in all three of the Top Gear guys to sort of like give explanation and historical context around all these different series. So you'll have like Jeremy Clarkson or, you know, um, or some of the other guys tell you about the history. <laughs> you don't know, do you? I do know. It's a Richard uh, Hammond. I, Richard Hammond James and May. James May. I sure. was thinking, for some reason, I was thinking uh, Brian May from <laughs> Queen. Who's a different he would be English great, guy. and his luscious hair. He would be great. Yeah, yeah. So they actually went with a completely different uh, tire physics partner. They were going with Pirelli in the last game, and they actually ditched those guys because Pirelli weren't willing to do the extreme test case scenarios. <laughs> so they went with another uh, company called Calspan, yeah. who were more willing to do like these extreme angle testing scenarios, which is what Forza wanted to get into, so that they could drill even deeper into the physics elements of the game. Sure. It's like such a crazy rabbit hole that those guys have found themselves in. But it's actually reflected in really cool ways in the game. Like they demoed a, um, a Mercedes-Benz going coupe on Laguna Seca. Mm -hmm. And seeing that old car hitting the corkscrew of Laguna Seca, you yeah. see so much tilt uh, and camber and the suspension of that car in ways that you never saw in previous Forza games. Sure. So they, the cars just feel like they're actually like responding to the varying terrain of the track. So it's, it's pretty cool. Well, Sean, that sounds awesome. I particularly like the Top Gear aspect of that. Bit of Absolutely. touch of home for me, that's very important. Remember, guys, you can keep up with everything that we've got on Forza 5 and everything that we've got coming out of GameSpot here in Cologne. Just stay at GameSpot.com.